Hello, hello, everyone. <clears throat> so today, you guys, it is Friday, and it's June 4th. Um, I just got home from work. This past week has been a week for me because I have not really been crocheting or anything. Yesterday was the first time that I picked up a hook or a needle in maybe about four or five days. Um, <clears throat> and that was because I don't know how or when I did it. Um, I just know I woke up a few days ago and my upper back on the right side, <laughs> like from the top of my spine, the middle of the top of my spine, up around my neck and into my shoulder was so freaking sore. And I couldn't get comfortable. There was no position that I've tried to, um, you know, help me that I could just get comfortable in. I was in so much pain. Um, and I had already said, you know, if I wasn't, you know, any better by at least yesterday, I wasn't going to go to work today. I'm still in a little bit of pain, um, but I've been, you know, icing and heating my back and my shoulder, um, and I've been trying to do some stretches to just so it doesn't, you know, get any stiffer than what it is, and yeah, <laughs> and also I've been taking some uh, medication that I was given a few weeks ago. For another issue, um, you know, for an inflammation. So that helped. That helped a lot. But um, I'm still not 100%. But yesterday <clears throat> was the first time I picked up my hooks and my needles and just really sat down and did anything since, you know, everything happened. Um, but other than that, um, I wanted to come and I wanted to share with you guys some things that I have finished over the last few weeks or so. Um, yesterday, I made a new project or a new item. Um, I have a older item that I made and I actually was able to finish it yesterday as well. And of course, I have some work in progress items that I'm going to share with you. So um, the first thing that I'm going to show you <clears throat> is um, this baby blanket. The yarn that I use for this, um, it is the, <coughs> excuse me, um, Stitch Studio by Nicole Chateau. So this is the yarn. And this yarn is so freaking soft. Um, <clears throat> so I love it. I want to make something else with this. Um, I was thinking about making a matching hat for the blanket. Um, I might still do that. I just need to either play around with some stitches or whatever or a pattern um, that I, you know, have in mind um, or either just kind of figure out something for myself. <clears throat> but it's just a basic granny square. Um, I don't know the measurements, but it's a pretty nice size. Um, this will be a good size for like the car seat or um, maybe like um, a stroller or something like that. Or if the baby is just in the crib. <clears throat> so it's a pretty, pretty nice size. Um, 
And so for the border, I didn't do anything special for the border, but I did do a um, a double crochet border around the outside. I just did one row. I was going to do two rows, but I decided to just leave it at one <clears throat> for now. And then my next project that I have is a vest. This is a DOY creations project. I bought this pattern from her, I think back in 2019. And so um, I actually attempted it then, but I think the yarn that I was using, and I can't even tell you what I was using at the time, but the yarn that I was using, I think I got bored with it or something. Um, and then I just, I frogged it. So I put it on the back burner because I had to go, be, go back through my email for a while, I had forgot all about it afterwards. I had to go back through my email, and I'm glad I saved it. <clears throat> so I had to find all of my um, emails from when I had purchased this. And I think I actually went ahead and I wrote this pattern down as well. But <clears throat> I went ahead um, not too long ago and made this vest. <clears throat> it is so easy. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. I just finished eating lunch, a late lunch. So, <clears throat> yeah. And I had some, I had some spicy hot wings. <laughs> so, um, anyways, that's the front of it. And then this is the back. <clears throat> And so the ties here, trying to find them, okay. So the ties for this, I had some faceted beads that I had never really used. Um, <clears throat> okay, so these are the beads. So... It's a lot of different colors. They have like a pink, a almost like a white or um, a clear, I should say. Purple, turquoise. Um, there's like a almost like a reddish pink kind of color in here. And um, like a beige, a really, really light. Looks like it could have like a beige tone or tan tone to them. So <clears throat> just a few different colors um, of these beads here. And I did not know what I was going to do with these. So um, hello, Tracy. How are you? So I did not know what I was going to do with these. Um, so I decided to use this for the vest. And so, this is <clears throat> what I ended up doing. I just put, um, I alternated the colors between the clear and the turquoise or teal type um, beads. But I love this vest. It's so, so easy. Now, I did not make this one um, big. I just stuck with the pattern, but I do plan on making one for my size. Um, I want to say the original, I think she, um, it was mentioned that the pattern would fit like a medium to large person. So I would need mine to be a little bit bigger um, to fit like extra large to 2X um, for me. But this came out so good. And I used um, the Big Twist yarn for this. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Next, I have a scarf here. So, you guys, this scarf here was supposed to be all one color, but I um, I ended up using three different colors. So, I used a brown. Um, this is Craft Smart Value yarn. And I ran out of this yarn. So I tried to go back to Michael's, you know, when I made this a few weeks ago. And I could not find the Craft Smart Value yarn in brown. I saw the particular brand, but they didn't have any brown. And so I ended up picking up two. Um, I was trying to see if I had anymore but I did get the loops and threads um impeccable so this is not the yarn but if you're not familiar with the loops and threads so this is the loops and threads impeccable yarn so I picked up two skeins I got one in the taupe um color here and I think I used all of this because I do have, yeah, I have a couple other projects that I had made using this. So I think I used all of that up. And then last night i ended up making a ear warmer which i used the um aran tweed yarn with and this is like one of my favorite um yarns because it has like the little um extra specks of extra fiber or whatnot in there so i love that yarn so, um, I did not really think it was going to come out good. I do have some ends that I just need to clip off or whatnot. So, please ignore that. But, yeah, I was kind of worried about this. Um, and I just made the scarf as long as I wanted it. And then I um, joined the ends together. So, with this scarf. As you can see, it has the three colors. And I've been playing around with it some, trying to see like what would be the best um, way to wear this. So I'm still trying to figure it out a little bit. I think I like it with, you know, each color, you know, kind of showing like so. But yeah, it's really nice. And I did have some brown in my stash when I was making this, but um, before I went to Michael's, but it was not working. I tried, I tried my best to um, get this, get the brown to cooperate and it just wasn't. It wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. Um, so this here, this is a ear warmer that I had actually made a few months ago. And it is made with a chunky yarn. Thank you, Tracy. And I just thought about it. The stitch that I use for the um, scarf is called the bean stitch, I believe. And I follow a tutorial um, here on um, YouTube. So a little bit later, I'll probably put the link down below. But yeah, this is a... Um, this is a bulky weight yarn and 
I had actually made an item with this yarn a couple years ago, and this was a um, meal in yarn. So the pattern that I used, um, I kind of went off of the simple, is it simply twisted ear warmer pattern, which I have another ear warmer that I made. I'm going to show you, but I just used, you know, this chunky yarn or bulky weight yarn. And I think I use like a K, K hook. Either an I or a K hook for this one. And then just um, I put the ends together and sewed it. So it gives you that twisted look. Now this is the ear warmer that I made last night using that loops and threads impeccable Aran tweed. And this one I made using the smallest. Um, size so I'll probably be making some bigger sizes of this but this is one of my favorite um ear warmers to make let's see and then I have a little just a basic little baby or newborn hat that I made um, because I had some yellow yarn that I was trying to use up and I actually have another project going with that um, this particular yarn this is some red heart super saver these are the two hats that I made with the um, loops and threads impeccable yarn so these are just basic, you know, double crochet hats. And the bottom of these, they are um, made different as far as the stitch goes because you are, it's either a half double crochet or a single crochet in the back loop. Um, half double crochet in the back loop. <clears throat> So I got two of those. Yes, Tracy, I have been very, very busy. I honestly, I don't feel like I have actually been making a lot of things just because a lot of stuff has been going on here at home for me. So um, I just, I get it in when I can. <laughs> so, um Let's see, what else do I have? Okay, so this is what I really, really, really want to show. I have not been a big, huge fan of cotton yarn, but lately, and that's since I've been crocheting and knitting. So lately, I've been more into... Um, cotton yarns. So I do I do have some in my stash that I have purchased from um, Dollar Tree, of course, Walmart, um, and also Dollar General. So, and they are different yarns. Um, <clears throat> so for instance, dropping crochet hooks over here. So, for instance, um, I've always kind of, you know, had my eye on this brand here, the Lily Sugar and Cream. Um, I have a couple of skeins of that, um, which I either got this from Walmart or ordered it online um, from a private seller. Um, then... I have a few skeins of the um, Re-Up yarn in the Lion brand. So I have a few of those. I do have a Premier. Here we go. The Just Cotton. I have that. So um, with these, I have been also noticing that 
um, with these two brands here, the Just Cotton and the Reup, they are a little bit thinner than the Lily um, Sugar and Cream, which is fine, um, which I'm already kind of used to, you know, yarns being a little different. Um, one yarn, you know, maybe a little thicker than the other, um, but still be considered a worsted weight yarn. Um, so I guess overall what I'm trying to say is I'm mostly a acrylic yarn um, purchaser. Um, but, you know, recently I've just been buying some cotton yarn because I already had some yarn here and I just kind of want to um, make some things with the cotton yarn, if that makes sense. So um, a few weeks ago, I had a lot of, I think I had like three skeins of orange yarn that I wanted to um, get rid of. So I made some little face scrubbies. I have all my ends sewn, so please forgive me. I just need to snip them off. But I made some little face scrubbies here. So I did four of those. And then um, the same pattern. So it was like two patterns in one. So we had the basic ones like this. And then we, um, I ended up making what was supposed to be some flower um, face scrubbies from the same pattern. I just ended up, um, you know, doing like the little petals around the edging. <clears throat> So I did four of those the correct way. Now, this is the first one when I, um, like I said, it's from the same pattern. Um, when I tried to attempt the pattern, the flower pattern, I ended up coming out with this. But it still came out good, I think. I like the shape of it. But um, as you can see. Yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like. And I already knew going in that this was probably going to, the first one I made was probably going to turn out a little crazy. Um, let's see. I have a dishcloth here. And I did this pattern before for a shawl. Um, I forget the stitch, what the stitch name is. But I've done this before for a shawl, um, and I ended up frogging the shawl for some reason. Um, I think I messed up on it or something. But um, it was good that I attempted it again. So that's the dishcloth. And then these next few um, that I have, I did not follow a pattern for these. I just wanted to make just a basic um, dishcloth. So... I chained like a chain of 24, 25 or so. And then I just half double crochet um, in each stitch. So those are the three dishcloths there or washcloths. Um, and then for the edging or the border, I did one row of single crochet for um, all three of these. And so the next few um, or the next couple of dishcloths I made, um, this is another pattern that I have done before. And I did make a mistake in this one um, because I'm actually show you this side of it. So it's all supposed to be, you know, of course, in garter stitch. And this is knitted, of course. So. It is made corner to corner. Um, and if you can see right here, this is where I messed up at. So that's the back of it. And then this is the front. So it started 
going into like a stock and knit stitch. And what happened, I, of course, I dropped a loop. And I wasn't aware until I had gotten up, I want to say maybe two or three rows up from where I actually dropped the loop at. And I tried to go back and fix it. And I couldn't fix it. So um, I just went ahead and I left it. I continued doing the pattern, you know, as is. So, and this one is made with the, um, with the Premier Just Cotton. But I did make another one. With the same yarn. So this particular skein is a 2.1 ounce um, skein. So I was able to get um, two, um, two dishcloths out of this. Hi, Janet. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Yes, I decided to come and go live today since I had some time. And um, yeah, I just wanted to come in and show my face for a moment. I have actually been trying to get this video up for some time and it just never happened. <laughs> so I'm here today. So yeah. Um, those are all of my dishcloths and my face scrubbies that I have made. Um, I will be putting pictures of these up on my um, Instagram and probably on Facebook as well. Um, trying to see if there's anything else that I needed to show you that I have actually finished. So, um, I'm not seeing anything. At the moment, but I am going to show you guys some work in progress items that I have been working on. Um, so this is the red heart yarn that I had made my um, newborn baby hat with. This is the um, pale yellow. So I found this pattern. Um, it's called the Vintage Holiday Scarf or something. Um, and so I decided to give it a try. I am using a um, eye hook instead of an H. No, I'm sorry. I'm using an H hook um, instead of the G hook. So it's coming out good. And this pattern, I'm it's an easy pattern, but I have to stay really concentrated on this. So this is something I've been working on off and on um, for a couple of days now. So the next thing I have, this is a um Ear, not an ear warmer, a um, barrette that I started making this morning. And um, I actually started, when I first started crocheting and, you know, learning stitches and things like that, I had actually attempted to make this barrette before. Um, it's almost finished. I am kind of tweaking some things at the end, but I just want to show you guys um, what it looks like. That looks so pretty. And I would, I'm sitting here thinking now, if I had some yarn that had like the little um, shimmer in it, that would probably bring it out a lot more. But I had this black yarn I'm trying to use. I got a lot of black yarn, um, considering that I don't use it a lot. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and whip this up. But when I first started crocheting and things like that, I had tried this pattern. 
and it did not work out because I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm glad I saved the video and I'm also glad that it popped back in my mind this morning. Um, and I went ahead and I made it. So, um, like I said, right now I am tweaking some things with it, um, towards the end because I want this to fit perfectly, um, on my head. So I've been trying to play around with some things and I'm definitely taking some notes so that, um, I can make some more of these. So, yes. Um, so I got to get this finished up. Hopefully I'll be finished with it tonight. Um, so how's everybody doing? I hope you all are having a great Friday. Oh, and I have this, um, little, I have to put a button on it, but this is a little, um, diaper cover that I made. This is a rare heart yarn, but I cannot remember the color of it to save my life. So, yeah, um. But those are some of my work in progress items that I have right now. I still have a big tote that has some other work in progress items in that I need to get to um, eventually. <laughs> so it's just taking me longer than expected. Um, so, yeah. So... Um, you guys, I am going to go ahead and finish up trying to work on this barrette here. And um, get this finished up. But I do appreciate you all for joining in and watching. Um, taking time out of your day for me. So, yeah. Um I think I have covered everything that I'm going to cover today. Um, so next time, hopefully I'll be finished with this barrette and have some other things um, finished and, you know, made up for you guys. Um, and I'll come back and show you guys that. So um, once again, thank you all for joining. Um, and I hope you guys have a blessed day and enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.